This video is an addendum to the Building the Better Guitar Scale method. If you haven't watched that video, the material in this one won't make much sense to you. Here's a link to that video. In the previous video, we discussed building shapes on strings other than the sixth string. When we do this, we leave some empty space on the fretboard. In this video, we'll learn how to fill out that space by building patterns backwards. This will also help us learn to better navigate the grand unification pattern mentioned previously. Our shape order remains the same. However, since we're going backwards, we progress from the right to the left, meaning instead of moving from X to Y to Z and then back to X, we'll be moving from Z to Y to X and then back to Z. When building patterns backwards, we need to modify our two rules for vertical ordering. Rule number one, when progressing from shape X to shape Z, remember, we're going in reverse order, the fourth finger shifts down a fret. Rule number two, when progressing from the second string to the third string, the fourth finger shifts down one fret. Here's an example. Let's build B major on the third string. We find B on our fretboard and build the scale upwards using the rules and shape order we learned in the previous video. If we want to go back down, we need to look at the shape order of the scale we just built. In this case, we can see we started it with two X shapes, which are the starting shapes for pattern one. We can use these two shapes as our reference to build the pattern backwards. Two X's are preceded by another X. Play that shape. Next, play shape Z, but shifting down a fret because we're moving from X to Z. Now play the second shape Z. Using the existing order of shapes and the two reverse rules, you can build scales backwards from the first string down to the sixth. Just be aware that this adds a layer of complexity that effectively doubles the number of things you need to memorize. And with all the X's, Y's, and Z's, this can get confusing and ugly quick. I recommend sticking to building patterns upwards and using the backwards rules only for working your way down from a scale that you've already begun. Good luck in your practice, and thanks for watching.